I think it is at the Supreme Court level, you know, this like leveraging one echelon, another echelon, you, you stay in the district. But if you come up with an argument while you are trying to suppress sedition on the state level concerning how the governor abused his authority when he leaned on the bond of a sheriff because he wanted to teach a female sheriff a lesson about respecting the law concerning sanctuary city within the state and then make an example of her in front of all the other sheriffs knowing as he does that the governor is the holder of the bonds for sheriffs and that each sheriff is required to have two sureties that he turns over to the governor and the entire legislature and everybody in the federal government who may have been involved in the state government but already should know better should know that the governor as the bond holder for sheriffs is overstepping his authority when he threatens to withhold funding from the district unless they follow his specific political idea of what is appropriate application of policy. See, sheriffs can't make the law, but their ministerial duty is to interpret and apply the law. They have to determine how to apply the law. The governor is supposed to hold the bond, but he doesn't get to slap the bond and he doesn't get to hit the bond in order to teach the lesson to one of the sheriffs who might be exercising their ministerial duty in a particular manner that just isn't very lucrative for whatever he's doing during campaign season. That's what they did in Texas. Is that the case that went to the Supreme Court? Am I supposed to be a little Indian girl under sanctuary? Did somebody who obviously was able to find my electronic records because they've been hacking me and stealing from me and because they took my stuff while I was on the street, including that specific legal argument, or they took my political campaign platform, which was on a website when I was going to run for president until last year when they threatened to assassinate another candidate unless I let them assassinate me. So I took my site down and then I found the people that are financing the electoral strategy that leverages political assassination on behalf of one or any number of people they are financing. Did they, did somebody literally steal my legal arguments and my, what would have been the case I as attorney general would have actually brought against the governor and the Texas legislature for their abuse of authority and unconstitutional manners in which they committed securities fraud and what they did with the bonding for sheriffs in Texas? Did somebody use that as part of the case they were able to get to the Supreme Court? And today I'm upset because they've got me running lines of credit for fucking a, a Senate via crypto feeds and I'm feeling all vulnerable and emotional because I drank the cherry Coke and somebody let the cherry Coke be uh, used as a derivative for sweet charity. But you know, sweet charity, she just uh, she just doesn't perform. So you know, we got a problem.